The reason? Yes, again, Amtrak's Portal Bridge. Let's face it, this isn't the first time for all the Northeast Corridor riders. Built in 1910, the Portal Bridge was an engineering feat of its time. But today, it's one of the most notorious bottlenecks in the region's rail system. Its low clearance swing design means it must frequently open for river traffic. And when it does, train schedules are at the mercy of century-old mechanics and human improvisation. That's exactly why the new Portal North Bridge is seen as a monumental leap forward, and it is now in the final stages of completion. Backed by federal and state funding, this $2.2 billion new Portal North Bridge is a landmark investment in U.S. rail infrastructure. But will it fix one of the Northeast Corridor's worst bottlenecks? And how will it reshape the future of train travel? Let's break it down. But first, we need your support. This is our new railway channel, and we're on the road to 2,000 subscribers. If you love rail infrastructure and transit updates, hit subscribe to stay informed. Your support keeps this going. Thank you. The Portal North Bridge project is a critical infrastructure investment to eliminate one of the NEC most notorious bottlenecks, the 115-year-old Portal Bridge. The existing Portal Bridge, constructed in 1910 by the Pennsylvania Railroad, has long been a point of failure for Amtrak and NJ Transit operations. Designed as a movable swing bridge, it must open for maritime traffic, a process that frequently leads to mechanical failures and service disruptions. Before the pandemic, this bridge carried over 450 daily Amtrak and NJ Transit trains. It served nearly 200,000 passengers per day. Its outdated infrastructure poses a major constraint on one of the nation's most critical transportation corridors, which links Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, New York City, and Boston. To resolve these long-standing issues, the Portal North Bridge is being constructed as a high-level, fixed-span structure rising over 50 feet above the river eliminating the need for openings. The new bridge spans nearly 2.5 miles, including approach tracks, and features a network-tied arch design, an uncommon but efficient engineering approach in U.S. rail infrastructure. This modern design will allow for higher operating speeds, improved reliability, and increased train capacity, addressing a critical NEC choke point. The Portal Northbridge project has made significant strides since construction commenced on August 1, 2022, following final approval and the notice to proceed in April 2022. By May 2024, Amtrak and NJ Transit proudly marked the 50% completion milestone. As of fall 2024, the project is at 70% completion, with major structural components now in place. One of the standout achievements was the installation of the first of three structural steel arches in November 2024 a highly intricate engineering feat that involved careful barge transport and precision placement. The final arch was successfully installed in February 2025, solidifying the core structure of the bridge. As of early 2025, the project is 80% complete, with the first track expected to open in March 2026, enabling limited operations while additional work continues. The second track is set for completion in February 2027, with full integration into the NEC anticipated by late 2027. Once operational, the existing portal bridge will be dismantled in July 2028, completing the transition to the new structure. Notably, Amtrak has indicated that the project could be completed on time and within budget, emphasizing efficient project management and strong coordination between federal and state agencies. The $2.2 billion Portal North Bridge project is a model of collaborative funding, drawing support from federal, state, and regional sources. Securing financial backing was a multi-year effort, reflecting the project's scale and complexity. In January 2021, New Jersey Transit finalized a full funding grant agreement with the Federal Transit Administration, FTA, securing $766.5 million through the Capital Investment Grant Program. This followed a medium-high rating from the FTA in 2020, which positioned the project for significant federal investment. New Jersey has committed $811 million, including $600 million from state-backed bonds and additional funding from the New Jersey Transportation Trust Fund. Amtrak has allocated nearly $262 million, while the Federal Highway Administration contributed $57 million. Earlier funding sources include a $55 million Federal Railroad Administration grant in May 2020 and a $16 million grant in 2015 for preparatory work. 
The Port Authority of New York and New Jersey also pledged $300 million in earlier phases, reinforcing regional commitment to the project. While Portal North remains a two-track structure, its design accommodates a future Portal South Bridge, which could double its capacity to four tracks. This expansion aligns with the Gateway Program's long-term vision, enabling NJ Transit and Amtrak to double train service between Newark and New York. Once additional infrastructure improvements, including the Hudson Tunnel Project, are completed, the increased capacity will benefit commuters, intercity travelers, and freight operators, strengthening the Northeast Corridor a corridor responsible for 20% of U.S. GDP. Construction has already generated approximately 15,000 jobs, injecting billions into the regional economy. Once operational, the bridge is expected to boost property values, attract businesses. Environmental benefits include lower emissions and reduced train idling, contributing to broader sustainability goals. So what were some challenges the project faced? Despite its steady progress, the Portal North Bridge project has encountered several challenges, particularly in funding and construction logistics. Initial plans for two parallel bridges were reduced to a single structure following the 2010 cancellation of the Access to the Region's core project, leaving the proposed Portal South Bridge unfunded as of 2025. Construction logistics present ongoing hurdles, the bridge's location over the Hackensack River and within the densely trafficked Northeast Corridor requires meticulous coordination to avoid service disruptions. The Amtrak Office of Inspector General noted in May 2024 that staffing shortages and information sharing discrepancies with NJ Transit posed risks, though these have since been mitigated. The project faces a series of formidable challenges that demand precise coordination and seamless execution. The construction of the Portal North Bridge required deep foundation work to ensure stability. Large steel shafts, measuring 8 to 10 feet wide, were drilled 160 feet into solid rock. The Skanska Trailer Joint Venture, the project's contractor, used specialized equipment, including heavy-duty cranes and drilling machines, to complete this process. To confirm the strength and safety of the foundation, engineers conducted detailed inspections using advanced scanning tools and cameras. Most of this work took place on temporary platforms near live train tracks and high-voltage power lines, making precision and safety a top priority. Moreover, the route cuts through treacherous marshlands, presenting a unique set of challenges that test the limits of traditional construction methods. With limited access and a delicate ecosystem to preserve, engineers have had to get innovative and resourceful. To navigate these obstacles, the project has seen the completion of four work trestles, spanning an impressive 3,400 feet an engineering feat in itself. Two of these trestles remain in place, serving dual purposes. One will be transformed into a permanent fishing pier, adding a community benefit, while the other will provide maintenance access and lay the foundation for a future bike trail. Add to that the complexity of managing catenary structures, critical to maintaining rail power, and the need to operate within an active rail corridor, and the scale of the task becomes clear. To rise to these challenges, the project has leveraged cutting-edge technologies, from automated crane swing limiters that guarantee safety during heavy lifting to engineered fill that strengthens the foundation. These advanced tools allow the team to push forward with minimal disruption to rail operations while maintaining the highest standards of safety and efficiency. This complex and environmentally sensitive route demands not just advanced construction techniques, but also careful coordination and planning making it one of the project's most formidable hurdles. Political and bureaucratic challenges significantly influence the Portal Northbridge project's progress. While President Biden championed infrastructure investments, stating that the new bridge would eliminate long-standing delays and improve reliability, funding uncertainties in previous administrations created setbacks. Under President Trump, federal spending cuts and project freezes raised concerns among transportation officials as large rail projects rely heavily on long-term federal commitments. The administration's reluctance to fund NEC improvements stalled progress until Governor Murphy secured critical federal support in 2020. Looking ahead, one of the biggest challenges will be managing Amtrak's workforce capacity. With multiple major projects underway, ensuring that Portal North remains on schedule without workforce shortages will require careful coordination. What about the Gateway Project? The $16 billion Gateway Program, now under construction, includes plans for new tunnels that will ultimately connect to the Portal North Bridge. 
Several related projects remain in the design and engineering phases, with progress dependent on securing additional federal funding to supplement contributions from New York, New Jersey, and Amtrak. While the Trump administration faced criticism for delaying the Gateway Tunnel project due to political conflicts with then-Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, it did approve the Portal North Bridge in 2020. CEO and President of NJ Transit emphasized the project's bipartisan support, noting that Trump initially backed it. He also suggested that once the bridge is complete, the President should take credit for its success, acknowledging his role in advancing the project. So, what do you think? Will the Portal North Bridge and the Gateway program be enough to solve the NEC's chronic delays, or is even more investment needed? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for tuning in today, everyone. Subscribe and we will see you next time.